सो हे गाई सो टुडे वी आर बैक विथ अनदर वीडियो एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द कमिलियन मॉडल सो दिस मॉडल वॉज रिलीज बाई मेटा टू वीक्स बैक अराउंड लेट्स ए टेन डेज एंड इट्स अ मल्टी मॉडल मल्टी मॉडल विच इज केपेबल ऑफ यू नो इंट्रैक्टिंग विद टेक्सट एंड इमेजेस एट द सेम टाइम सो इट्स अ वेरी गुड थिंग दैट मेटा हैज़ रिलीज एंड आई होप दे विल मेक इट ओपन सोर्स इफ इट इज पॉसिबल इन एनी वे बिकॉज टिल नाउ दे हैवेंट रिलीज एनी थिंग दैट दे आर गोइंग टू ओपन सोर्स इट और इवन द डेटा दैट दे आर थिंकिंग ऑफ मेकिंग इट ओपन सोर्स नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट वॉट एक्जैक्टली हैव दे डन डिफरेंट नाउ इफ यू सी the uh, the title is it's a mixed model early fusion foundation models now the first question is what is this early fusion so in the first evening like before this whole paper was released the concept of late fusion was also there right all the modalities like let's say text voice audio or uh, let's say uh, the images are learned independently and are combined right before the model makes a decision but the second approach this current approach which is the early fusion approach the uh it combines all modalities and then learns the model now when it comes to a, a, they are telling a family of early fusion token based mixed models there are two types of tokenized uh, two types of model here one is 7 billion and the other is 34 billion so we are going to talk about that now if you see here this is the mixed multi model pre training that they have done this is the text this is the image they have a specific image tokenizer and they are giving all the things together at the same time not differently right and uh, If you look at one of the example, I am bored. Could you show me some cool, quirky-looking birds? Also, tell me, tell me about them in two to three sentences. Now they are giving a response along with an image. So the text and image combined here is really good thing because that uh, the model is aware of the context between text and images when it is providing it. If you see here the image prompt and the text prompt. So the image is also tokenized by the image tokenizer, which is made exclusively for this kind of images. Now, if you look at the particular pre-training, they talk about that how they did the tokenization. That they create a brand new tokenizer based uh, on this particular paper, which you guys should definitely go and read. Which encodes a 512 by 512 image into 1024 discrete tokens from a code book of size 8192. So they have only used licensed images at at least that they 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 are mentioning. And when it comes to heavy OCR related, they are the core weakness of the tokenizer is that only that. uh the reconstructing images with large amount of text therefore upper bounding the capability of our model when it comes to heavy ocr related tasks so they are clearly stating it's not perfect it's not very good but it's decent so for and for normal tokenization they trained a new uh, bp to uh, bpe tokenizer which is byte pair encoding right over a subset of training data outlined uh, with a vocabulary of 65536 words so it's a very big vocabulary which they have taken so yeah uh now if you look at the pre training data set that te- for the text data they have used uh the pre training data used to train the llama 2 and the code llama with a 2.9 trillion text only token so the number is pretty high 2.9 trillion and when it comes to text to uh, text images the images are then resized this and in total we include 1.4 billion text image pairs which produces a 1.5 trillion token in text image tokens again a very big number now the text image interleaved interleaved right uh, they are saying that they process the data from publicly available web sources not including data from meta's product and services they have exclusively mentioned this for people to be aware that they are not using their personal data uh, i don't know how true this is for a total of 400 billion tokens on interleaved text and images data and they have applied the same filtering for images that they have applied to this particular text to image right now in the second stage they are t- t- telling about the architecture they have followed the same llama 2 architecture at uh, like they have trained two tokenizers till now an image tokenizer that encodes a 500 by 500 image into uh, 1024 tokens right they use a normal decoder architecture because they are mentioning in llama 2 the architecture based on llama 2 but they incorporate here query key normalization and reordering of layers to stabilize training in the mixed model setting at least uh, if you see here for normalization we continue the R- R- rms norm they use swiglu as mentioned in the llama 2 and and llama 3 also they have used that activation function and rope the rotary position embeddings now they th- that is same same as it now if you w- look at this that for stabilizing uh, the chameleon 7 billion we control the no- norm growth it is most necessary to introduce drop out after the attention feed forward layers so if you see here we were talking about right that it incorporates query key normalization and reordering of layer Norm, norms to stabilize the training in the mixed model setting right so here if you see uh, this attention normalization of the attention of the particular x and this is the output that they are they are giving us so yeah 
this is the difference here if you see this attention normalization is applied on the attention and the attention was applied on the attention normalization of this particular layer that's the difference you see and the two there are two models right the 7 billion and 34 billion 34 billion is definitely very strong right now and if you look at the optimization they are seeing that they have used adam uh, optimizer only with the beta 1 of 0 0.9 and beta 2 of 0 0.95 rest if you look at the uh, pre-training resource uses they, they have used for 32 billion 34 billion 3072 concurrent gpus and i can't even account the number of hours i think i will have to convert them to days right so yeah now if you look at the supervised fine tuning data set that they have used 1.65 million for text in this much for uh, code visual chat image generation interleaved generation safety and yeah data looks really good and now they have talked about that fine tuning strategy and everything i don't think we need to discuss that in detail now i think we can come to uh, the results and this human evaluation and safety training i will leave it to you guys if you are interested you guys can go and read and uh, yeah let's come to results now if you see uh, the pre-training stage that they were talking about uh, this i think we should we have missed yeah if you see at the the, the computation and everything that they have did uh, 80 percent for uh, which they are saying so yeah if you see chameleon uh, 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 34 billion yeah we showed 600k steps that is 55 percent of chameleon 7 billion and 80 percent for chameleon 34 billion now pre-training there are two stages the stage one where they are used 80 percent right i think they, it should be there yeah here it is right so for that they have used 80 80 percent yeah they have used 80 percent of the part and for uh, for if you see uh, pre-training stage 2 20, they have used 20 percent only half that half the data set of first stage and included higher quality data and instruction data that you guys can see here right cool i think we will come to the major insights that are the results now i think yeah so here we have come to the results now previous models right previous the multi uh, multi models uh, the mlm you can see gpt4 vision flamingo that used encoders and connectors for multi modality which limited their ability to generate multi model documents right but this they have introduced this whole uh, uh, fusion, new fusion technique right at least they have not introduced but used it wisely so that we can say now if you look at the common sense reasoning and uh, reading comprehension you will see here equivalent 34 billion parameter model is actually outperforming the existing models so mistral mi model is slightly better 3.6 but we can't deny that this is of only 34 billion and it was a 46 billion yeah but number of activated parameters if you see mistral is far better similarly 63.3 is the state of the art similarly here if you see 82.7 looks good but yeah on hellas swag if you see chameleon is not even close to gpt4 and uh, yeah G uh, gemini pro is outperforming so that's good and if you look at the math and world knowledge they are explicitly saying uh, gpt4 is still better but 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 chameleon can understand and generate both text and images using these discrete tokens that is what it makes different than the other models it's not only about the numbers but about the existing approaches and what chameleon can do better than the others now if you look at model performance on image to text right uh, flamingo is uh, capable of uh, one point uh, yeah this these are the, i think results and if we look at the current chameleon model 34 billion you will see 120.2 and this is 139.1 so yeah it's performing slightly better when it compares to when you compare the 34 billion one normal model but when it comes to multitask one it's far far better than the uh, pre-trained flamingo and um, id fics so similarly gpt4 vision we don't have benchmarks for all but if we go through the numbers uh, it, you know it's actually better right if it's actually better so yeah these are the results if you see here and these are if you see 32 short 4 short 62 short these are the uh, results that you see so what we can see from this chameleon 34 billion outperforms llama 2 at 70 billion i'll take the results down here further yeah cool so chameleon 34 billion outperforms llama 2 and llama 2 70 billion and approaches mixtral 8 into 7 billion parameter that model that we have gemini pro uh, on these statistics of gsm 8k math and mmlu now not only this if you look here when it comes to image one so chameleon 34 billion is also outperforming the flamingo 80 billion and uh, id fics 80 billion on the ms coco and matches on the flicker 30k you will see here so it achieves a 64 percent win rate 
when it compared to G Gemini Pro and 54 1.6% against uh, Gemini uh, this GPT-4 vision if you if you look at it right so we can say that uh, the balanced modalities data sets are important for fine tuning and alignment we can definitely say for sure so these techniques and the results that we are seeing in this paper are really good and we can conclude a lot of things from this paper uh, that we are actually in need of a lot of new techniques not only the number of parameters are increasing and data set technique data set quality is improving we need new techniques to further improve our uh, uh, numbers and actual knowledge in this domain yeah so cool guys i'll link the paper in the description you guys can go and read it in more detail so thank you and have a nice day